I do a lot of work with plywood and plywood panels, and plywood has a has an edge like this that you need to you need to treat in some way. Uh, one way is to use this veneer tape that you just heat up and it sticks on. Um, that's fairly easy and, and gives really good results, especially the newer stuff has really good adhesive and it doesn't come off. Um, pe some people have had experience with the, with the older stuff uh, peeling off or flaking off. Uh, the new stuff rarely does that. Uh, another way of doing it is to use this solid, um, like a solid wood that matches the type of wood. So if you have maple maple plywood, you would use uh, solid maple edge banding. For both of these options, the the tricky part is trimming off the excess afterwards. For the veneer, there's a cutter you can get that will run along and trim off both sides at the same time. It works okay. Sometimes it'll snag and, and tear in and then you'll have to remove that part and start again. Um, the blades do get dull after a while also. Um, that doesn't work with the solid wood. With the solid wood you pretty much have to stand the panel on edge and use a router. The problem with that is this is not a wide surface area. You can clamp more boards on but there's always the chance that the router will tip and cut in. Uh, cut into the face of the plywood or cut more of the edge banding away. So. To cope with that, I came up with this um, jig here. And what it does, it holds this router and this arm. You can see the arm moves up and down. And in the router, there's a flush trimming bit. As the work is pushed through, the flush trimming bit trims it off flush with the face of the plywood. Uh, that works with the solid wood and it works with the veneer as well. There's a cam right here that'll adjust the height so that I can adjust it down to use it with half inch plywood or adjust it up for 5 eighths or 3 quarter inch plywood, whatever I happen to be working with at the time. Um, there's a bolt on the back here. Uh, that I can adjust the the angle of the router with so that I can get a very close cut here without cutting into the face of the plywood. Um, the whole thing just um, sits down on my workbench. There's tabs on each end that hold it down over the workbench so it can't move side to side. So when I push the stock through, it doesn't move. I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration of how it works now. <laughs> As you can see, it's it's very it's well it it is actually perfectly flush with the surface. It's just a little bit that needs to be taken off, and that would be taken off by uh, flush sanding or uh, like I say, a card scraper will take it down. Uh, but it's uh, it's uh, nearly perfect. Okay, now I've added um, just maple edge banding to the edge of the plywood. <laughs> made it just as flush as the other side. It's uh, nearly perfect. Okay, now I've got a piece of half inch that I've uh, I put solid on one side and uh, edge banding on the other. And I'll, uh, adjust the, I'll adjust the machine down 
to work with that. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Um, both of them very well done. Uh, very close. It won't take much work at all to get them absolutely flush with the surface. Uh, if I wanted them any more flush, I could uh, I could adjust this to go tighter. Um, it has to do with the way this is tipped. Uh, right now, it's kind of um, it's tipping upwards so that it doesn't cut into the surface of the. Uh, of the plywood. I'd rather leave a little bit here to work by hand than have the cutter cut into the surface. So uh, that's it. Uh, there'll be more details on this on my website. It's uh, certainly a handy thing to have uh, if you've got a lot to do. Alright, thanks for watching.